This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now back at Elbil Mac, and we have Valdemar here in uh, nice Norwegian. Uh, uh, right, uh, what's it called? Get stick or Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, it, it's wool, right? Yes, wool. Yeah, yeah, no, no sheep were harmed during the making of it. <laughs> no, <laughs> but anyway, so today um, we're going to check out. This ID3, you know the one with a uh, significant degradation. Uh, I always wanted to know, you know it has um, drum brakes. How are the drum brakes after two years of driving in Oslo, Norway, uh, where we have salted roads? Because traditionally, uh, regular brakes, disc brakes, they tend to be uh, dirty. Uh, do we have a good example? Maybe over there, or do we have more? But this one must have been standing for a bit. It's Tesla more or less. This one was standing with, uh, yeah. But, but you see from the color, uh, I think that the brakes was not changed so long time ago. I think they relatively new because I don't see any like uh, that it's they are worn, worn out. But I think that the, those uh, like on, on Norwegian call over flat rust. Oh, like a surface rust. Suffer, suffers rust. It's just because st st it was standing. What about some of the other cars here? Do we have any cars with uh, with some roost? Uh, this looks quite okay. Uh, wait, the Zoe? Huh? What kind of stuff is in the back in the Zoe? Zoe also have uh, drum brakes. Oh, huh? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Even the Zoe has some drum brakes. Look at that. All go good, good uh, cars has uh, drum brakes in the back. <laughs> <laughs> think City, think Classic. Uh, Mitsubishi i Mio C0, Ion, uh, Partner, Kangoo. Wow. Kind of many, many, many. <laughs> <laughs> what about that sole? How is the brake on that car? Is it. Uh... No, it seems to be good. From outside, at least, seems to be good. You see here, so you can see this disc. Maybe a little bit. Here we have an i3 with, oh, some roost on the brake pads. Yeah, this is what happens if you don't have uh, drum brakes. The disc, they are exposed and the i3 has a good regen. And also at, even at 100% it regens because of top buffer. So then this shit happens. And before we inspect the brakes, we have to uh, put the car in neutral. But if you try this and then try to get it in neutral, uh, let me see. No, what is this? No, 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 it's neutral. But once you let off, um, it just goes back to part. This is a safety feature, of course. This is good, good engineering, but um, we want to trick it. So we put a battery here so it's heavy on the seat sensor. It has seat sensor check, but also uh, it check, checks for the door. Since the door is open, then we, uh, apparently Volkswagen, they don't, don't want people to suicide. But now, oh, okay, and then volume, if we go in and uh, activate it now, is the pressure brake, put it in neutral, and then we can slowly close it. And you see, now we are neutral. So yeah, also if, you, if you're planning on camping in your Volkswagen, uh, you have to put some weight there. So just bring an AGM battery with you on the trip. You might need it anyway in the morning if the door was is locked. <laughs> so now we take off the wheel. Wait, is it, is it stuck? Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, there's some rust here. Oh, that's just... Wait, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's not important. It's just outside. Hmm. Take the good friend. Because there was a torque screw there, took it out, and then, yeah. oh, and then, oh. Here's a good friend. Doesn't want to go away. Ready? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's loose. Oh. Ta-da. Wow. Wait, what, what is it? Was that brake dust? Yeah. There one uh, there, okay. Um, okay, uh, this is the first time I see these uh, drum brakes. How do they work? So, uh, I haven't seen uh, brake shoes since it's like uh, drums. It's called brake shoes, not brake pads, brake shoes for oh. some reason. <laughs> uh, and it's like a double. From uh, what I learned, this is like simplex system. It means with uh, one cylinder, which pushing the brake shoes like this. You can find the system which pushing the both shoes uh, s like simultaneous, both sides. And it's some which is rotating one or another side. So this is the most simple, I think. Uh, but um, when you do uh, air control, uh, do you also have to inspect these brakes like this or? No, we, during EU control, we do just a visual check. Uh, we are not uh, allowed to take down the brake uh, drum, for example. If there is like an inspection hole, and uh, if like if there is a possibility to check if the brake shoes is, um, thickness is uh, like um, allowed, then you can do it, but you are not allowed to take down the wheel or other parts of the car to check one or another thing. Hmm, okay. No, but, uh, so how is it here? Is it good? No rust or? Yeah, I think it's uh, in very good shape. It looks uh, clean. There is some dust, but um, I don't think that they are <coughs> important. And it looks like um, dry inside. I don't uh, see any uh, like um, um, early rust around. So I think that uh, it's quite good system, Do which uh, don't need actually much attention. Okay. So this is the covers. It, it was fully well. I mean, was it hundred percent seal, or is there no no dust and no uh, moisture could enter? Of course, it can enter, but there is like a small spaces around where uh, moisture and dust can enter uh, directly. Directly. Uh huh. So, hey, was that? It's actually made in Germany. Made in Germany. Oh yeah, quality parts. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, you see these fins, are they um, acting like heat sink? When they rotate, they generate some vortex that uh, yeah. Yeah, cools down the disc. Well, that, that basically becomes the disc then. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. It doesn't look... Um, when, when I see it the uh, first time, I thought it's... Uh, uh, they're going back to the old uh, like system and uh, what the heck. But... Um, if the braking power is good enough, and uh, then you have then you then you have less uh, maintenance on the car, so I think it's positive. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I suppose there is no need to check the other side. It should be the same anyway. But um, yeah, I believe it's gonna be the same. Yeah. So let me see. So that okay, that part rotates. Yeah. Center, and then this one stays there, and then uh, that means that uh, that part also rotates with the hub here. You see on this side, it looks like. Well, no, I've never seen uh, so clean, well, relatively clean, of rust at least, <laughs> in here. So it can just stay still here for, let's say, 10 years, no problem, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you want to make EVs maintenance free, you have to make the brakes maintenance free also. Uh, what's the mileage on the car? Uh, around 80,000. 80,000. I think it's. No, 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 far, sorry, 48 only. 48, yeah. yeah. 48, yeah. If I thought it's, it's like 88, so on like discs, it would be a much, much bigger usage than on the drums. But if it's just 48, so... Well, yeah. uh, Valuma, you have lots of customers, uh, EV, well, yeah, you see we have Tesla, Zoe, Soul. Uh, is it common for them to uh, replace disc or I mean brake? Or what kind of repairs? Or uh, discs, uh, brake disc replacement is uh, quite a uh, well-known operation here, um, especially on uh, lighter, older cars, um, <clears throat> because you use a lot of regeneration and uh, you don't use the brakes uh, enough, so they rust like hell. <laughs> Uh, and uh, if customer doesn't uh, think about it too much and doesn't do 
maintenance every year, so they rust even more. So after three, four years, you just have to mostly throw away the discs and install the new ones because they're really, really in bad condition because the parts we're supposed to move is not moving. Okay, so you mentioned maintenance. What kind of maintenance what that the user needs to do or you or, I mean, or workshop? Uh, well, it's not forbidden for user if he has knowledge so he can uh, do maintenance himself. Uh, just to disassemble the brake pads, uh, discs, uh, check the condition of the rubbers around in the brake cylinder on the, uh, I don't see here, on the part which is moving. Uh, Use some uh, grease, which is special for uh, brakes. Uh, replace uh, brake fluid every two years, as recommended, if needed. And um, yeah, just uh, do the visual inspection and see if uh, maybe one or another side uh, starts to get rusted uh, more than another, or it's like a uh, color of the disc is changing. So it's like a, uh, can be signed that um, uh, brakes are on all the time, so the disc is overheating and... Yeah. Okay, so that's one, yeah. Uh, and then you can also use low region and maybe brake hard to burn off some yeah, rust. Yeah, use a uh, low region or uh, find a slow road, uh, which is not much traffic and you can catch some speed. So um, do some little bit more aggressive driving and braking, drive harder brake harder to, to take away um, uh, rust. Hmm. And then yeah. that's it. And that's, that's it. Uh, the recipe for long life brakes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think, um, it was interesting to see uh, one of these uh, pads, I mean, drum, drum brakes. So um, I know, uh, yeah, I know many of my followers, they're like, oh no, this is bad. This is bad for performance dangerous or bad or but it has the enough stopping power anyway mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah also yeah by the way when it comes to performance how are those uh, drum brakes performing versus uh, disc brakes yeah you know most of electric cars are the cars which are using uh, like id3 id4 id5 probably right also have uh, drum brakes they are not sports cars and i'm not uh, the guy which is uh, like <laughs> racing with the car so i cannot say about uh, performance what we can do is actually do the test on the brake tester and just see the braking powers, but how they are uh, on the on the road or on the track. I have no knowledge about it, so hmm. sorry hmm. about that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so I think that's uh, going to be it. Uh, now we just took a quick check of it. So yeah, now let the hate comments uh, arrive. <laughs> well, anyway, um, thank you so much, uh, Valimai, for doing this check. You're um, welcome. Yeah, I think I messed up the ending now, so maybe you can say it this time. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. <laughs> awesome. Bye-bye. <laughs>